Hello, I'm the Badger Reborn, and today I'm going to talk about the Wheel of Time and possible rewrites that could happen for the TV show, starting with a breakdown of possible Season 1 episodes. I want to give a quick explanation of who I am and what I hope to do with this channel. With the Amazon TV show in production, I've gotten more involved with the fandom, thanks primarily to the Nablus and Daniel Green YouTube videos. Those are fantastic, by the way. Definitely check them out if you haven't seen them before. Uh, but I'm also now engaged on Discord and Twitter with the Badger Reborn name in those places as well, so hello if you've seen me from there. Since I can be a pretty opinionated person and have a lot of ideas about the TV show, I wanted to make a video talking about possible rewrites, changes, substitutions, alterations, and cuts um, that I feel like would fit well in the TV show or would be likely to happen, um, as well as discuss things that I think absolutely cannot be altered. I really like discussing these ideas with people as well, so I'd absolutely love it if you commented your thoughts as you're watching the video. Uh, what do you totally agree with? What do you totally disagree with? What do you feel like is so crazy that I might uh, have citing induced madness? I'd also be interested to read some of your comments aloud in future videos. As I go through these thoughts, it's important to keep in mind that changes are going to happen from the books. If we could get the books directly adapted onto screen with no changes, I would be thrilled. I really would. Um, I love the world that Robert Jordan made, the characters he wrote, and the way that he wrote them. However, we know that's not realistic and changes um, are going to happen. So, I like to brainstorm the things that I would like or dislike, some things I might even find to be improvements from the book. Shows have to make changes to incorporate new audiences, to add new cinematic elements, and even trim plot lines from, uh, from the books in some areas that aren't possible due to budgetary restraints or just time constraints from the actors or production team. I'll talk about some more specifics of these in this video and future videos as well. I know that we're all really excited about the show coming out, and I hope you'll join me in exploring these ideas. Though, obviously I know there will be changes, I really trust Rafe Judkins and the writing team that he's put together to be faithful to the core of the story, while making positive changes as well. I'm really excited to see what new story elements there might be. The cast they've hired and the photos they've released so far make me feel really good about the direction they're going in. Though many of my videos will have spoilers, this one will only spoil events at the beginning of the Eye of the World, as well as some off-screen events that happen without the reader being aware during Eye of the World, so it's safe unless you haven't really read any of the series. For this first video, I wanted to start with a breakdown of possible episodes of Season 1 of the show. The writers have already begun work on Season 2, and there have been rumors that Season 2, along with 3, 4, 5, and 6, have already been approved and greenlit by Amazon, but we don't know that for certain. It's just a rumor at this point. We do know that Season 1 began production several months ago in September, and that writing for Season 2 has definitely begun. Filming is expected to last until May of this year. I would hazard a guess that Season 1 will premiere sometime a, about a year from now, in 2021, though it's possible that it could be sooner. It should be no later than mid-year of 2021. Rafe Judkins, the showrunner, revealed some of the possible titles, and another rumor placed the total number of Season 1, one episodes at 8. The episode titles that we know so far are Episode 1, Leave Taking, Episode 2, Shadows Waiting, Episode 3, A Place of Safety, Episode 4, The Dragon Reborn, Episode 5, Blood Calls Blood, Episode 6, The Flame of Tarvalin, and Episode 7 and 8 don't have a name yet. Those have yet to be revealed. So, what books, storylines, or plots could these episodes be covering? I have two main ideas which I'll lay out. Idea number one, episode leave taking. I don't think that they'll include the Luz there and Telemann prologue at the beginning of the show like it is in the book. Instead, I think that could be broken into a series of flashbacks that Rand experiences at some point during the season. Um, possibly in episode one, probably ep later episodes in the season. Instead, I think episode one opens with Rand and Tam and Bella, of course, walking down the road towards Emmons Field. Rand looks back and sees the merge roll in that, in that classic scene. Rafe has already indicated that this might be the opening shot. That was at least his original idea for it. After that, we'll see Rand talking with Matt and Perrin, meeting Moraine, Lan, and Tom, and then heading back to the farm. It's been rumored that a character has been cast named Layla Ibarra. Just a rumor, but um, this could be a wife, cousin, sister, kind of uh, unknown relation to Perrin. I personally hope it's not a wife, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Regardless, I think this would be a great time for that character to be introduced as well, just so we get a little bit more backstory about Perrin and his family. So, my personal theory is that the actress cast as Layla Ibarra is actually cast as Elaine Chacond, and for some reason Amazon is um, kind of being secret about what her real role would be. But we'll roll with her being Layla Ibarra for now. So then this part of the episode will play out very much like the book, with Trollocs, shout out to Narg, attacking the farm, Tam fighting them off, or killing some at least, uh, and then Rand dragging Tam back to Immens Field. However, I think a change that could be made here is showing a lot more of the fighting that happens in Immens Field, rather than just 
uh, the Rain and Tam perspective of it. That would be a good change because we get to see Moraine doing some fighting with the One Power to get some of that right from the beginning, and then we'd also get to see Land do some fighting as well. They could maybe throw in Matt and Perrin doing a little bit of fighting, just probably with bows, just so that we know they have some skills and are brave, but I'm not sure about that. This could also add some horror elements to the show as well, which I think they might be going for. Could have Trollocs ravaging through the town, killing people, setting fire to houses. I could even see a scene where one of the women, maybe, perhaps like Nynaeve or Egwene, by the way, everyone pronounces names differently. I think I say Egwene, Egwene, kind of mix it up every time I say it, so just roll with me on that one. But I think we could see a scene with one of them, maybe a different character, maybe the, the Layla Ibar character, running through a house being chased by some Trollocs, cowering in a corner as the Trolloc comes up, and then Marine or Land comes in and saves the day. It could be a, kind of a really exciting twist that's not in the book. I think they might also add the Layla Ibar character being killed during this fighting, just to give Perrin some kind of additional backstory, but they could also save that for later. Moraine would then heal Tam, and then the group would leave Emmons Field, with enough time, of course, for Moraine to tell the story of Menethrin, which is a really great story. I get kind of choked up every time I'm reading it. Uh, but then the group would leave Emmons Field, and the episode would end. That's how I think Idea 1 could play out. Very similar to the book, with just a few elements added in. So that brings up uh, Idea number 2 that I have. In Idea 1, whereas it was just characters that are in the book, and at the beginning of the book only, in idea number two, I think they could add some new characters, kind of show some different parts of the world and different plot lines. I think it would begin the same way, with no prologue still from Louis Aaron Telemann, Rand and Tam on the road at the beginning. But then after that, it would kind of shift to those new characters. One that I think is quite likely is Loghain being introduced. We know that Alvaro Morte has been cast to play that role, and he's a very well-known actor. So I think getting him on screen early could, could really help with the exposure to the show, bringing in new fans, and also just kind of setting him up as an important character, which is another thing Rafe Judkins has revealed that he really wants to do, kind of bring Loghain into the forefront a little bit more than he is in the books. So early in the episode, it could cut away from Emmons Field and show Loghain. He's being talked to by an Aes Sedai who's telling him that he is the Dragon Reborn, and he needs to go fulfill this destiny. I'll go into more detail about this full plotline in future episodes, but I think this will be a side plot that would sort of set in motion Loghain, gathering followers, gathering power, and eventually fighting against Aes Sedai, being captured and brought to Tarvalin, all the way to being gentle later on. I think this would also tie into the Leave Taking's title really well, since Loghain would be leaving his family and friends to become the hated and feared Dragon Reborn, which totally changes his life and is a nice contrast to Rand and that group leaving Emmons Field as well. The book leaves it intentionally vague as to which character is the Dragon Reborn, unless you're paying attention to which character gets all the POVs during the book. Uh, but I don't think this approach would work quite as well on this show. Instead, I think focusing on Loghain and really showing the burden that being the Dragon Reborn puts on someone and just how much society doesn't want a Dragon Reborn, hates male channelers, fears what they could do to the world, I think this would be a really strong element to add to the show, just to introduce that the magic system for men is totally not a positive thing in this world which sets Wheel of Time apart from a lot of other fantasy shows and books and series. Alternatively, it could start with Loghain already in power and be captured right at the beginning, just to start the show off with a bang. I could see that being a strong opening as well. If that were to happen, then Alana Mosfani, who's already been cast along with her two warders, could be the main Aes Sedai, or at least one of the Aes Sedai, who brings him down in that storyline. So some other side plots that I think could be introduced in this episode are Swan Sanchez in the White Tower, or Elaine and the other Trakan family in Andor. I'm not sure either of these would be particularly strong subplots, but they could be a good way of introducing the, the viewers to new elements of the world, different countries, different types of situations, that kind of thing. So to draw some comparisons to other fantasy shows, which I know some people don't like doing, but um, in Netflix's The Witcher Season 1 had really a main character and two very prominent secondary characters, or you could even say three main characters maybe, all of whom had separate plots. Game of Thrones in its first season had main characters, several main characters, and there were several main plots that happened as well in multiple locations. These are likely to be the things, the main shows that Wheel of Time is compared to, and whether that's fair or not to Wheel of Time, it is what's going to happen. So Wheel of Time viewers, new fantasy viewers, and viewers who have seen those shows might be expecting similar things from Wheel of Time, so I think this bouncing around showing more than just the Emmons Field characters could be a strong move and it might be something that fantasy viewers also expect. This episode would still end with Moraine and the main Emmons Field group leaving the village just so that the viewers 
know that that's the main group of characters. Finally, one last pitch idea. I think the show could merge Gareth Brynn and Elias McCara, but uh, more on that in the next video. If anyone's interested in knowing a little bit more about me and why I'm starting this channel, I started reading The Wheel of Time about 15 years ago when I was introduced to it by one of my best friends, and from that time on I just really fell in love with the series, both the books and its really deep characters, and then more recently with the fan community as well, which is just so great and uh, welcoming to new readers, welcoming to people that love the series just from come from kind of all generations. I constantly reread the series either with audiobooks or on paper. I've never made any YouTube content before, so I'm just kind of figuring out how to get started, but I hope to make, or I'm planning to definitely make at least a few videos detailing my ideas for season one and how its episodes could go, just for the fun of it. If people enjoy them, I'll keep making more. Additionally, when the show comes out, I plan to make some videos reviewing the episodes, what I think about them, and how they line up with the books and how they deviate from the books as well. In addition to commenting on this video, you can join me in my Discord server, which is a great way to continue the conversation. I've put a link to it in the comments below, so check that out. I'm also frequently on the Nablus Discord server discussing Will of Time, so check that out as well for more conversation. I'd love to see you guys there. Thanks so much for watching. Please leave a like and a comment below, and subscribe to the channel as well. That would really help me get started as a new creator. I'll see you next time. By the way, I'm totally new to making and editing videos, so if anyone wants to give me any tips in the comments section, please do. Or if you just want to edit my videos yourself, I'm open to that as well.